Hi, this is Bob. This was uh, really not much of a repair here. Uh, all it was was a uh, pin on a connector that was not soldered on the main circuit board. And I was able to get that main circuit board out real easy. And uh, I pulled out uh, the three strip connectors at the front of the circuit board that go to the front panel and took out the uh, little connector for the uh, speaker then I took all the screws out there was uh, about eight screws in that circuit board little silver ones took those out and I was able to to fold the board back like that inside I got it all back together here and I thought I should have done this uh, last video before I put the covers on but that's all there was to do was to put the covers back on after I soldered that uh, pin and uh, to, 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 to get the pin though, I knew it was one of the pins on this one connector and I soldered all of the pins in the uh, DSP board and uh, that did not help. So then I had to do the main board like I say and I flipped it over. I was able to do that without disconnecting everything. Uh, I disconnected uh, the three strip connectors in the front and the speaker and I was take, took all the screws out. I was able to fold it over and then I was able to solder that connector and it was hard to solder I think it was originally soldered with lead free solder and uh, I'm using leaded solder here which does work I have tried using the lead free solder and that's even harder uh, I don't like that stuff at all so I have some very small lead solder I put some uh, liquid solder flux on I don't know what the solder flux is. I got it at a ham fest, but it's a good flux. Uh, it's Kester liquid flux, I believe it was. And I put that on the connectors. I added a teeny bit of solder. I heated each one for four seconds. I just counted 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004 because those pins are soldered into a multi layer board. And I thought if the part that came unsoldered, is in the center of the board then uh, I'm going to have to uh, going to have to have some luck here uh, feed in some solder on the top and then heat it really good and I used a uh, 800 degree tip on my Weller soldering iron a very small tip but it was an 800 degree tip to get a little more heat down in there so uh, when these things go through the wave soldering machine the circuit boards go through the wave soldering machine why they they uh, they heat them uh, for several seconds, so that's okay to do that. Anyway, I uh, I said a little prayer, I and uh, and all, and uh, I, I really did. And uh, then I turned it on, and it worked. They had this report on how much the been. Now this fella is. Uh, This guy is in uh, Houston, Texas. He's working portable. And I just talked to him a few minutes ago. And he's talking to a guy in uh, Mississippi who talked to me. And then there was a K0 uh, in there that I talked to. So anyhow, the thing is working. I am so happy uh, because I have uh, wanted a 746 Pro. And uh, so I was able to buy this one at a, at a low cost because it didn't work and I was able to fix it. So that made me really happy. And I do not, I do not uh, want to work on uh, surface mount uh, equipment anymore. <laughs> I have problems with that. The stuff is too small for my 77 year old hands which are not that steady and my 77 year old eyes which don't see that good so I am really thrilled that I got this thing going and I I started on it uh, at 3 30 in the morning I was uh, I was awake thinking about it and I thought well what the hey I can't sleep right now I'll go downstairs and start on that thing so I came down and started work on it and uh, by accident I touched that one part that uh, that uh, digital processing uh, circuit board uh, is mounted in a metal case at a module I touched it and the thing started working and I thought hey I got a loose connection there somewhere and it was on the connector so that's it guys 
73s and good DX.